Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Ahsoka. The finale viewership is uh, apparently, according to uh, Bounding in the Comics, who got it off of Twitter, uh, the finale viewership clocked in worse than Andor. Ooh. And Andor was chasing the audience. I remember they were like, oh, we're really having to go out of our way to, to chase the audience to win back Star Wars fans. Now, people said Andor was actually I was going to say, good. they said it was pretty good. I didn't watch either one. And this I, is, for me, I used to watch everything Star Wars. You don't understand. Like, I would live and breathe Star Wars. I used to drive my family crazy. I had to have every book, watch every show. If they were running, like, a special with Carrie Fisher hosting it, I was watching it. I mean, like, I used to watch everything Star Wars. We had to be at the theater. I scraped money together to go to The Force Awakens. We didn't have it at the time because Neon had gotten laid off, but I found it. To all go to see it, you know, for me to miss these, these shows, you know, it's it's saying something. I I checked out after the book of Boba Fett. Um, like, yeah, I didn't even watch much of that one. It was so dumb. Uh, two episodes in, I'm like, I, yeah, I'm out. This isn't Boba Fett. I don't think we ever finished watching all the Mandalorian season two either. I, no, watch, I skipped around. I watched. I watched watch. like we just watched Luke Skywalker. I stuff. watched like the first two or three episodes, and I watched Luke Skywalker. Episode. Didn't watch I've, season three. I haven't watched any of three. Didn't watch Rise of Skywalker. Still, nope. Still have not seen the Rise have of Skywalker. Have not seen Ahsoka. I've watched Obi Wan. I watched. You didn't. I it watched. Was like, this is the stupidest thing ever. One episode, and I'm like, God, this sucks. I'm out. And, I'm out. And I didn't. I think I watched two episodes of Andor, and that was it. I, I, I didn't just watch didn't any care. Of it. I just I don't just, care. I just don't care. Even when people come back to me, and, they, and I've heard from several people that Andor was pretty good. And I'm like, what's the point? Is this to the point you just don't? You what's know, the point? You don't even. You didn't, could make time, but you just don't care enough to make time. No. I'm just watching K dramas, and I found a really fun one that I'm in love with, so I'm watching that instead. So many things that uh, could be watched instead of Star Wars, and it seems like the general public is is feeling that too. Uh, so yeah, this is coming from Bounding in the Comics. We'll talk about it before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Go out to shopclownfish.com. Shopclownfish.com. You can pick up or pre order Shadowbinders Volume 3 shipping next summer. Just to be clear, this is our replacement for Indiegogo because we're mad at Indiegogo right now. Uh, and you can also pick up uh, the couple of copies that we have left of books one and two. First new Shadowbinders content in like a decade. So uh, it's going to be really fun to get back into that story. And uh, we did get previously on Clownfish TV in. We had to send it to a different printer for reasons. But the printing is very, very good. The book is uh, very, right. very fun. And after we get these shipped out, well, if we have extra, we'll put them up so you can buy them yeah, as well if yeah. you want to. Yeah, we so. should have some extras on that one too. So let's uh, let's talk about Ahsoka here. Again, coming from Bounding in the Comics. Uh, so the latest streaming data from Nielsen reveals Ahsoka's finale had worse viewership than Andor. Yeah. That's, that's not good. That's not good because Andor was at that point, people were like, man, Andor really did not do well. It didn't. But, the story was good, people said, but it, it did not perform. But, you know, you could kind of write that one off because you're like, well, people forget who Cassie and Andor was. Mm -hmm. was. Like, remember that guy in Rogue One that died with the robot, the funny robot? Yeah, him. It's a whole show about him. People would be like, wait, what? It's a whole show about him, but apparently it was pretty good, but nobody watched it. They didn't care. Uh, Nielsen released their streaming data for the week of October uh, 2nd through the 8th. The 8th episode of Ahsoka aired on October 3rd, and it shows that Lucasfilm's Ahsoka series only brought in 575 million minutes. As noted by Twitter user Mac, uh, who has another follow-up here. We got tagged in on it. Um, this is nearly 100 million minutes less than Andor's finale. Ooh. Which racked up 674 million minutes, and everybody forgot Andor existed. Well, the thing is, Andor's finale might have done better because at that point they got more people saying, "Oh, it's good to watch it." But the opposite happened with Ahsoka. <laughs> so yeah, I think like, why are you watching this? Ahsoka people were excited for it. Legitimately, people were excited for it. And then as we got more and more garbage Star Wars, because people were excited when she came back in the Mandalorian, but we got more uh, garbage Disney Star Wars. People were like, "Yeah, this is not going to go well." And then a lot of people who are even fans of the cartoon shows, the Filoni shows, were like, this is like Ahsoka name only. Like, she doesn't act anything like Ahsoka. This is May of October. So it did worse. Okay, wait. So Ahsoka did worse than Andor. And Andor last year came in above, pe right above Pepsi, Where's My Jet? Pepsi, Where's, Where's My Jet watched, was great. That was great. And it, the Santa Claus is which everybody was excited about because it was a new Santa Claus's show. So what be it? Love is blind beat it. Uh, only murders in the building. Not right below it. I mean, look, it did. It did. Okay. It for, did for original. Loki, though. It, well, that, that's season one or season two. Um, I don't know. I think I'm assuming it's season two. 
Because that people said Loki viewership's like way down. Dang. So I don't know. Uh, oh, th- this is original though. Th- this isn't counting overall because overall you have a lot of shows that are doing really well that are brought in from other countries. Or what's something else that's a little more concerning though? This is that week, right? And these right. are the minutes watches number two at five seventy five. But if you compare it to a year ago in the minutes watched, it was number it was and or still beat it at number six at six hundred seventy four million minutes watched. And those the other numbers way above it are like considerably higher overall. Oh, Wednesday was like dead to me. God, Wednesday, was... eighteen ninety nine. So, but I'm just saying, you're comparing like these like a year, a little less than a year apart, October to November yeah. here, and look at the difference in streaming numbers in general. Ahsoka's number two, and that and it's and it's still under number six from like last year. Yeah, that's that's, that's a little bit. There's a little bit interesting. I mean, it might not be a lot released, but that's a little bit interesting right there on its own. Just notice that. But anyway, continue. Wednesday, almost six thousand. Six thousand mil- million minutes. Six thousand million. <laughs> no, you minutes. know what I mean. Yeah, it's like you're comparing like these two time frames, and that's number two. Like, you know, like a month ago, that's concerning because that the numbers are way down across the board on streaming then. Yeah. So that's another, you know, angle to look at it. But Um, I I think people are getting burnt out. I think people are getting, I'm hearing more and more people are watching linear television or just not watching television. They're watching YouTube or they're just doing other things, you know. Now they're also saying too, that Ahsoka was a way less, was not nearly as long. It was like um, eight minutes. It was eight minutes longer for Andor. Yeah. So uh, that could play into it too, but I'm like, yeah, it's not good because everybody talked about how Andor was kind of a dud, you know. And and again, this this isn't the quality of the show. Uh, people said Andor was kind of a dud because just it, it did not get the promotional push that the other Disney Star Wars shows got. And plus, it's a character that nobody really knows. I mean, again, remember that guy with the robot in Rogue One, which you may or may not have seen. Yeah, it's him. It's a show about him. Ahsoka was, uh, you know, arguably a more well-known character. Oh, how many years on two animated series yeah. and expanded universe? And yeah. So uh, the calculation is a bit simplistic and actual viewership is a lot more complicated. It's True. safe to assume that most viewers did not watch all the episodes. Disney Plus even allows viewers to skip a recap for the episodes. Um, they also include uh, five and ten minutes of credits at the end. So viewership might actually be higher if you kept the runtime. I th- that's like, yeah, that's true. But I'm just like... That's really pushing it, but okay. But they're basically saying, look, the overall trend is down. They said, yeah, yes, you can you can true. make excuses and you can write off some of it, but the overall trend is down. You have to factor in viewers rewatching the episode as well as viewers who binge it. Um, so it means that the total viewership might be less than the 11.7 million and 11.8 million viewers because... You know, Star Wars fans, you know, Disney Star Wars fans even are, are going to watch it and rewatch it. And, oh, we want to see, you know, catch this this reference or this whatever. Or I want to watch the scene again. And they're probably counting it as like, oh, it's another it's another view. It's another viewer. So it could be like, you know, 25 percent of those people watched or rewatched. And it's actually a lot less than that. But it's not good. Um, they have comments from uh, Andor show creator. And we talked about this before. He said that the, the numbers for Andor were not good. And if the numbers for Ahsoka are worse. This, it's concerning. I mean, it, for Disney at least. Yeah. Yeah. And they haven't locked uh, season two for Ahsoka yet. They're probably looking at this. They're like, are we going to do more? Should we bother doing more? And they probably thought it was money in the bank because they're like, hey, uh, Clone Wars and Rebels were pretty popular. Ahsoka is a pretty popular I'm sure character. they figured it would do a lot better than Andor. And it's just like, th- this just speaks to the... And it's the same with Loki and it's the same with all these other uh, Disney Plus shows. This speaks to the damage that has been done to these brands that people aren't watching everything anymore. Even no. shows featuring popular-ish characters, they're not watching. They're mm-hmm. tuning out. They're done. People are done. They're doing a million other things, but they're not watching the Disney Plus shows. Um yeah, so this is uh, yeah, this is Loki. Loki season two premiere numbers don't even come close to season one. So that was Loki season two. Oh, dang. Oh, well, I'm goodness. seeing a downward trend overall. Yes. Um, it seems like to me there there's a concerning downward trend in general. But you know, it could be a time of year too. Yep. Andor fans say we told you so. There's Google Trends, uh, Andor and Ahsoka. Andor actually had more search volume than Ahsoka. That's not good. Mm-mm. So congratulations. You guys have have successfully killed the go- golden goose there, Disney. And that Variety article is 100% accurate. South Park was 100% accurate. Uh, you 
you uh, screwed it up. You screwed up. You yep. screwed up. Are we going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.